my name is Jennifer Pelham, and I'm Extension Faculty in Horticulture with the University of Florida IFAS Extension Service in Osceola County. And today we're going to talk about how to properly take a soil sample. Now you would want to take a soil sample for two different reasons. One reason is if you're going to start a whole new planting, either vegetable gardening or a landscape garden. Or two, you may want to take a sample if you have a problem area in your yard. Now soil sample is going to tell you a number of different things. One, it's going to tell you some of the nutritional value you have in your soil. It's going to measure the amount of potassium, phosphorus, calcium, and magnesium. It's also going to measure the pH of the soil. Measuring the pH of the soil is important because it measures the acidity or alkalinity of the soil. Some plants like to have acidic soils, some plants like to have alkaline soils. But most plants grow in slightly acidic soils between a 5.8 and 6.3 pH. If the pH of the soil is off, whether it's too low, below 5.8, or too high, above 6.3, you may have some issues with your, your, your plants. They may not be growing effectively. Now, before you go take a soil sample, you should stop by your local county extension office with the University of Florida Extension. You want to go to the office and pick up a soil testing kit. This soil testing kit is going to provide you with three things that you're going to need. One, you're going to need to have a soil bag. This is the bag that you're going to use to collect the soil. Number two, you want to get the information sheet. This is your contact information to the soil lab so they know where to send the results. You're also going to put on the, the paper what type of landscape are you testing for. Are you testing for a vegetable garden? Are you testing for landscape plants? Or are you testing for some acidic plants like blueberries or azaleas? This is important so they know how to test your soil. Third, you're going to pick up a box. This box is a pre-addressed box to the soil lab. You put your, your soil sample in the bag along with the paper and the check made out to the, to the to laboratory and this box will go directly to Gainesville uh, so they can start testing your soil. Now let's properly take a soil sample. You can see from this lawn here it does have some issues. We already ruled out insect and disease problems so it could be a pH issue that's causing this lawn to look the way it is. To take a proper soil sample, what you want to do is take about four or five samples throughout this problem area. To do so, get a spade and dig in the lawn. You want to make sure to get at least two inches below the soil surface because this is where the soil is that the roots are growing in. So get a nice sample and put it in a bucket. And as we go from, some, from one part of the yard to other parts of this trouble area, we're going to mix it all in the, in the bucket. So I'm going to now go ahead and take about three or four more samples throughout the yard. Now I have my five samples throughout this problem area in my bucket. So I'm going to mix it up so we have a good representation of a pH from this area. The next step is to take your bag that you got at your local county extension office and we're going to fill it up. Now you can see it only takes about a cup of soil to fill this little bag. So you're going to fill it up to the line you see right there. Once I have my soil in the bag, I'm going to close it up really nice and tight so none of it spills out. Now before we send this up to Gainesville to get tested at the soil lab, we have some more, another sample in the back of the house that we want to test. Now let's take a soil sample from this area. You can see this area has already been cleared and it looks like they're going to plant a vegetable garden here. So to take a sample in the vegetable garden, we're going to just do like we did with the problem lawn that we saw up front. We're going to randomly take some soil samples throughout this area. And I'm going to start by doing just a zigzag area through the garden. Again, remember to take two inches below the surface. Now that's probably a good representation of the soil in this vegetable garden. So I can mix it up like I did before and start filling my sample bag. Now important thing to remember with this sample bag is that since we took two samples, we need to make sure we label this so we know that this is the vegetable garden and the other sample is from the lawn. And we can do so right here by putting sample ID. Now take your two samples and put them in that pre-addressed box and send it up to Gainesville to the soils lab well, they will do the testing. They'll send you back an analysis, along with your local county agent. They'll also get an analysis. And if you have any other questions, contact your local University of Florida IFAS extension in your local county.